Affirmative. <laughs> What's wrong with 9 5? Open, close, shut, close! <laughs> Skytrain Merlin 05, ready for takeoff. Merlin 05, Roger. Skytrain Merlin 05, I'm just lifting my wing, so 04. Take off right around 45 knots here. Okay. Just keep it right above the runway and then we'll follow them up. Sounds good. Ah, nice and smooth today. Yeah, it's good. Alright, I'm safely airborne, passing the 100 feet. All right, 200 feet, anything after this point, we'll be landed back at the uh, South Line landing area if we have a road break. And our trim is set, and our gear's gonna stay down locked on this flight. Is it retractable? It, it goes up about to halfway versus two thirds. So it's more of a trainer thing to teach people how to fly with retractable gear. That's kinda cool. There's our two ship up there. Wow. Why more people don't fly in the wintertime, I just don't know. Yeah, it's smooth, it's beautiful. I like, I like flying when there's still snow on the ground. A little orientation. Okay. Uh, right about here is where we'll come back into the pattern. Okay. Below us there's a uh, bridge, and that's our entry point. We teach our cadets how to use, uh, how to get back to the entry point at 7,500 feet. So this is the altitude. Okay, 7,500. Yep. Okay. And just keep doing what you're doing. If I'm talking too loud and getting in your way, then... All right, we're going to cross over. Okay. Stay on the south side of it and get set up for the river. Acro area is cold. I haven't heard from Silver 5 yet. Silver 5 up. Roger. 295 and 204. This is Merlin 05. If we could swap altitudes and get 04 above 95, that would be appreciated. Ideal day for shooting video. Yeah. Yeah, the snow makes it real, real nice and interesting. So did you start out on gliders here? I actually did. This uh, this program was my first introduction to flying an Air Force. Oh, it was? Okay. So, and it's the same for a lot of the cadets that go through our program. We take guys that have never flown before, and they get uh, one flight in basic, and then they come back and fly with us and get 10 flights to 14 flights, an opportunity to solo, going through their basic soaring program. And then after that, we make about 80 of them instructors from each class. And then Scott Hatter, who's flying in Sabre 5, he's one of our aerobatic cadets that we pick. So we pick about six guys for the aerobatic team each year. Kind of just based on ability? Based on ability, based on uh, performance, what they put into the program, things like that. And grades are also a concern because you can't pick a guy that is struggling, struggling academically. So. Yeah, so this is an extra thing, is, uh, as long as everything else that they're doing academically, militarily, and athletically are going well, they can come into our soaring program. <laughs> yeah! Let's go.
There we go, down at 1909. Cool.